I think it's going to be a super solid run. And if they're ready, we can start in just a sec. I'll do a countdown for them. Just want to make sure I can see uh, Kurt's screen real quick. Alright, if we're good to go, then three, two, one, go. And I do want to point out the reason why um, the title screens look a little bit different is that, like I mentioned before, in Japan they got a different Mario Bros. 2. So their Mario Bros. 2 USA is actually called Super Mario Bros. USA. So that's why Dave's is using that version. And there's not, there's like a one frame difference between the versions, so it's really not a big deal. But yeah, so we're off. 1 1's a pretty standard level. You can see just how far Luigi can jump. It's such a nice thing to have in this game. And Davesy's going for the one up for. A, it's a really good strat to do in a race. It provides like comfort if you're going for harder strats, like what Kurt is going for. So Kurt got this really cool wrong warp that takes you to where Birdo is. And it's kind of hard to describe, but basically you're getting pushed into the ground, but you can still grab the ladder. And such that you can you can climb down ladder while you're at the bottom of it and it thinks oh okay you're at the bottom of a screen so let's screen transition and for whatever reason it's tied to the door that was to the left of the ladder and it takes you to fight birdo and obviously it gets you to birdo faster but another cool thing about this game is that birdo shoots eggs every, about every four seconds so you're trying to get to the earliest possible birdo cycle and that wrong warp actually saves three birdo cycles so that's 12 seconds that you save by going for that compared to getting the uh one up and, we're, and in one dash two, as you just saw Kurt go for a key, you can actually bring keys through doors. You can't do that with any other item without glitches, but you can bring keys to Birdo, and dropping the key a single time gives you two hits on Birdo, which is just massive. You don't have to wait for those eggs to appear or anything, you just get two really quick hits off. And they're, they're pausing their screen so that they can hold down the run button and still hold on to the key. In this game, if you're holding on to run and you do one of those charge jumps where you hold down for like it's about like one and a half seconds or so it gives you a massive jump but you throw your item i don't know why they, they designed it that way but yeah they have to pause hold down the run button and then unpause and they actually can continue running and then they're gonna kurt just grab the potion to throw on that vase and for some reason if you go through the door it takes you to a place called subcon you hold down when you're on a vase specific vases in subcon and it warps you forward so we're off into world four and into the super slippery world and Dave's is just, is just right behind him. I, world 4 is... Like, Luigi's a very slippery character. So when you're in World 4, you're just like, oh, this is overwhelming how slippery this game feels right now. But they're doing it no issue. And naturally, um, you pull up a rocket ship that appears from a veggie in the ground to, to get to the second half of the level. Yeah, 4-1's usually pretty smooth sailing. The the only trick you can really do as Luigi in this level is like if if you there's this game has a kill code in it where if you pause, hit a couple of buttons on the player two controller, your character dies. And if you do that when you start the rocket, it just launches the rocket way faster up and you don't actually die from it. So you, you actually save time from trying to to take a death, ironically. But they're not going for that because it is I mean, you don't want to lose lives in a race, you know, you want to play it as safe as possible and make sure you have that comfort for later on because the later levels in this game are very brutal, and it's, re it's really easy for the uh, for the lead to change, especially in like six two and the sand worlds. Like it's pretty brutal. And if you saw uh, Davesy's there, you can you can jump off of vines and ladders in this game if you're holding an up diagonal and press jump when you're about to fall. And another quirk about Luigi is that that's it gives you much more leeway to do that strat. So yeah, it's it's pretty chill as Luigi. You can just hold up left or up right, even mash the jump button, and you, you get a jump off the uh, the vine, and it's much faster than climbing. Yeah, really solid run from both of them, though, so far. Oh, see, that, and that's what I was talking about with the slipperiness of Luigi. It's so easy to just grab something, try to walk off, and then you press jump a little early, or you're not used to going so fast on the ice and you just fall into the water, but that's not that's not a bad time loss because it happened right after the door, and doors are checkpoints in this game. So really, he can recover pretty fast if he gets over to the, uh, the vase without taking more damage. And you can see how brutal World 6 is already. Kurt taking one hit and now having to dig, and digging is slow in this game just in general. 
but as Luigi, because you, you fall slower as him, as you fall in between every single dig, you just have to wait so much longer. Like, getting back up is hard because you have such a high jump that it's awkward. But luckily, he gets through that without much issue. And Davesies is just, like, freezing through 6-1, no problem. And if you saw Kurt wait for the, um... The... Birdo shot on his screen to pick up that block. He did that because if you wait to pick up a block as Luigi, you have iframes. You're invincible during that. So if if you wait right before the fireball hits you and you pick up the block, then you don't have to worry about taking damage and it'll go right through you. And Kurt's just have, having a really clean 6-2. This level is very stressful and it looks really hard, and it is super hard, but he, these guys have played the game so many times, they can just breeze through it without much issue. Just not using any of the... There's typically a bird that flies from left to right that, um... That lets you... You can just ride it the entire way and you don't have to do any of those fancy jumps if you're playing it normally. Just ride a bird across, and no issue. But... It does look like we, may, we lost Davesy's screen a little bit, so... Hopefully we can see that come back in a little bit. But for now, you get to see some crispy ladder jumps on Kurt's end. Once again, you're trying to get to a very fast Birdo egg shot. And you'll see why, but that potion jump is stylish as well. Y you kind of throw it when you're around the ladder section. When you're when you're Luigi's above the ladder, you throw it against the wall and then you can stand on it and just jump right over the wall. No issue. And he's got to try to bounce that. Yeah, bounce the block off of the egg. And then if you stand under the block, it bounces an additional time. So you just get three quick hits just from a single throw if you time it right. Ooh, and a really smooth tri-clide fight. Part of the trick to that is you have to be moving left when you throw for the block to hit tri-clide. So there's, there's a little bit more trick trickiness to that than it might seem. I mean, it looks crazy already, but yeah, you actually have to have a little bit of speed and throw it just right to hit Triglide at the right time. Oh, and those pillar jumps that Kurt's doing are so stressful. I, I to this day, I still don't feel good about just jumping blindly onto those pillars. So, and he, t he went through it no issue. See, these guys are professionals. That's a really, another really cool strat, is that you can jump off that sniffer and get way over the pillar because Luigi jumps so high in this game. And he just you just grab the ladder immediately. Alright, yeah, man. Kurt is having no issue in 7-1. This Birdo fight is really awkward, because, like, the position of Birdo is never that favorable. Unless you get there at the exact time that you're planning, so it's just, it's so awkward. But, yep, he just took it pretty smooth and a little slower and made sure he didn't die, and that's really all you have to do in a race situation. Oh, and that, that bullet is so close to you. That's, that's crazy. This is pro- I, I would think this is the hardest level as Luigi. Um, Ward also works on cycles like the Birdo does. Uh, his veggie machine shoots, I think it's about every four seconds. And, like, even if you get to the veggie machine on time, just throwing the veggies as Luigi is not easy. And as you saw, he did more minor chain jumps to get above the stage and just run across the whole thing. And obviously, this skips a bunch. But for some reason, the key that this should normally spawn inside of Birdo, and you'd have to defeat Birdo to get that key. But if you go up, you just... It spawns outside of Birdo, and you can take it straight to the door. So that is, that saves so much time over doing anything else. It's so convenient. Ooh, and getting two hits for one again with the Mushroom Block on that Hawk Gate. Okay, cool, and we have Davesy's stream back. So what Kurt's going for is he's trying to time it so that he damages Ward with a Veggie right when the Veggie maker or whatever you want to call it spawns another one but and if you just mistime this at all either you gotta miss the veggie on wart or you're uh you're gonna hit war with the veggie but the next one won't spawn like you saw just there he timed it a little late so the game's like wait you have a veggie so i'm not gonna spawn another one and that's that's the tricky part of this particular strat and the and the uh the bubbles lag a little bit like it's super awkward but luckily he's he's nailing it and Davesy is, is destroying 6-2 right now. 
And we are coming up on time. As soon as uh, he enters this door, he'll be set to uh, stop the clock. There we are, 9.33. Well done, Kurt. Very nice. Really unfortunate that we didn't get to see uh, Daisy's stream for a bit of it, so I think he had to stay back to fix that while he plays through the game, but outside of that, he's been having a super solid run. He, he had that one issue in 4-1, but other than that, 6-2 went so smooth. Yeah, GG's to Kurt. Well done. Got Potion Jump version 2 going on. All right. Very nice. Let's see how Triclide and this Birdo treat him. Hopefully he gets another nice cycle with Birdo. Um, another tricky thing about the Red Birdos, the Red Birdos shoot fire or eggs. So you can go for that triple hit or double hit with the egg, and it just shoots a fireball instead, and you're like, well, can't do anything about that. You just have to accept it, you know? So, oh, it's cool. He's going for a different strat on Triclide. You do a damage boost, so you can stand right inside Triclide, and then you just throw the block in your hand and then the one underneath it to do a, qu a quick two hits. Super solid strats do. Yeah, really nice bird, huh? And now the Pillars of Doom. Like, I, like I'm still scared of them just watching other people do them. There we go. And those those rockets are actually on a cycle as well. The, the, like you wouldn't necessarily know it if you just watched the game a few a couple of times. But yeah. Oh, and of course, so that sniffet that you saw Kurt jump off of had just had to despawn. That's basically RNG. It kind of depends on the frame that you load. That particular section will determine what those sniffets, the guys that shoot bullets, what they do. It just so happens that he got there at a time where it overwhelmed the game and it d it did not spawn the additional sniffet. Oh, he almost got over that bullet, too, with those uh, ladder jumps. That was pretty smooth, even though he got hit. That was nice. Oh, and dodging another fireball. And you can see he took advantage of the invincibility frames. Just dodged yet another fireball and destroyed Birdo. So once again, we're back to 7-2, the scariest level in this game. Let's see how Ward and the, the veggie machine treat him. Oh, that's unfortunate that the bullet hit him, but it won't be bad, especially, like I said, every single room is another checkpoint in this game. So it really getting hit isn't a big deal, even if you take a death, because so long as you get to the next room, it's really not a big deal. Yeah, Kurt, that was a super clean run. OK, another easy chain jump to walk across the top of this. And I have a feeling he'll probably want to take this next part safer just because you never know what Birdo will do unless you get there at the exact same time every run and this Birdo can also shoot fire so between that and like it can lag a bunch in front of this Birdo that was such a good door entry oh my gosh that was that was like perfect holy crap like I, one or two more frames and you would have died because of that that was awesome well done Let's see if he can get a double hit on that. Okay, looks like he got a single with the first block throw. Still really not a big deal at all. There we go. Back to Ward. Wow, he nailed that. Especially only having one HP. That is such a stressful section to go through. And that, that's a pretty tricky veggie to grab as well. Because you're only riding it for a tiny bit. And then you go back on the platform. So yeah, that's not an easy one to do. And once again, he's going for the strat of hitting Ward with a veggie right before the next veggie spawn so you can just do a consistent flow of them wow that one looked like it was gonna miss but he did it at the perfect time nice gee he just missed a couple of veggies but other than that this has been a really solid fight oh that's so unfortunate going for the veggie and yeah 930 oh is it 9 35, I think it was 933. Yeah, so between the lag that this caused from all of those bubbles and the veggies on screen, Ward's position is d different depending on when you get to him. And it just so happens that he got to Ward at a time where you go for the veggie all the way to the left, and of course, Ward just has to do his lowest possible pattern there and just snipe you. So yeah, that's, that's just an unfortunate thing that's once again based on this timer that runs in the game. Ward can be in such awful positions for multiple throws, and that's that's a very good example of just being like, you can't really know it 
especially when it's that far off screen, you just have to go for it. And then by the time you go for it, you're like, oh, okay, we're shooting at me. How do I get out of this situation, you know? So yeah, that's happened to, like, every single runner. Nice, and, and he already got back onto the favorable cycle with throwing the veggies right before the next one spawns. So yeah, very good recovery. Ooh, and there, here we go. Wart ate a few too many veggies and got wrecked. GG. Awesome race, guys. Yeah, so, it, like Kurt said in chat, easy for a one mistake to turn into a, a bunch. Like, getting... Because, like, the, the veggie pattern is static, but if you take a death, then it can do the opposite pattern that it normally does. So, like, just so many things in 7-2 are there to screw you over, you know? Like, it's so difficult to, to just keep calm and just do the right thing in 7-2. You never know what to expect. GG's. Yeah, GG Daisies. I heard your time, which was better than my PB, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah. You just uh, had a great run. That's incredible. Yeah, other than a couple missed throws on War, it was uh, one of the cleanest runs I've ever had in this category. I was very impressed. That was awesome to watch. Yeah, I think I've beaten this time literally twice ever. Oh, wow. Well done. Did you did you go for the fast six two in your PB, or did you also do the uh, the normal one? I, I also used the the pumpkin to to bop the Panzer. Um, okay. But yeah, this has been a, a great race. Thanks, Daisies, for suggesting this. This has reignited my passion for single character runs. I think, and I, I plan to do more. Nice. Well, yeah, it was very cute. When Kurt decides to play more Super Mario Brothers two streams. Absolutely. It's a treat for everyone. <laughs> yeah. Well, make sure you check out Dave's too, because he puts on a great show. He's the he is Luigi or a Waluigi personified, and it's a <laughs> great time for everybody. Yeah. So how do you guys feel about the race overall? Like, I, I feel like a lot of it went super solid and then just a couple of pickups here and there. Yeah, I mean, 7-2. Was, was pretty rude to Davesies in particular. I, I was surprised that the, the bullet actually caught up with you in 7-2 as well. Cause I, I don't know much about Luigi specifically for 7-2. So how, how does the very first bullet work? Because I noticed it was different for both of you guys. I think some people do a delay right at the start of the first screen so that the bullet shoots to the left. Um, it's pretty tight to squeeze under there if you don't. Um, but that's okay. the sort of the fastest strat with Princess and Luigi. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I'm I'm done. Go ahead. Yeah, my main problem I think was I just maybe held A a tad too long, uh, and just got a little too much height. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was surprised. I honestly thought it was going to hit Kurt as well with how tight that that jump is, and the ball was right next to him. I'm like, holy crap! But then, yeah, just managed to get over that. Yeah, that's and dude, collision seems to be a little forgiving. You can usually have it kind of go inside Luigi's head uh, by a few pixels. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, Luigi's head is pretty thick, but his ankles are quite sensitive. <laughs> you can get you can get nipped on the ladders in seven one pretty easily if it hits like the bottom pixel on your foot. But it can go straight through the middle of your head and you're fine. Yeah, I'm always impressed to see that. And like of course the sniffer just had to despawn for daisies. I was like, dude, why? I hate that RNG in the game. Just that one sniff at despawning is so mean. Yeah, that's already one of the hardest levels in the run. And when you see that happen, you just feel like the game is uh, conspiring against you. <laughs> yes. Get that RNG. But your door entry in 7-2 was immaculate. Like, just squeezing right in front of Birdo and all those eggs that she was shooting. I was like, wow. I was amazed that you got in there without taking damage sweating bullets at that point because uh, I already kind of messed up the earlier door entry so then I waited in a whole extra cycle of fireballs to, uh, to try again and then geez Birdo as I saw Birdo walking towards me I was just uh, internally screaming <laughs> <laughs> and the Fanto was coming towards you too yeah that's the part I was scared about never mind being a pixel away from Birdo <laughs> Yeah, that was so crazy. And then, yeah, you got in there. I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And you almost nailed the first ward fight, too. You just had that unfavorable position of ward, you know, going far back so the bullets or the bubbles were super low when you wanted the far left veggie. 
just like said that just happened to be his position so that was like almost impossible to get out of there you know yeah that's a, a difficult fight uh when you get kind of uh when you're kind of thrown off your groove because uh, mm-hmm. you want to enter that final room in such a way that you can immediately catch the first veggie that pops out of the machine. Uh, but I managed to just barely miss that one. And that really kind of throws off the whole rhythm of the rest of the fight being one veggie off in the cycle. Uh, so, Definitely. Yeah, I think it was just uh, a pattern that I was a little bit unused to. Yeah, because if that didn't happen, he, he definitely would have been in a different position. And then, yeah. But you did recover, though, on your second second run through. I think you just, like, missed one of the cycles, and then you just got right back onto it, it looked like. That much of an issue, so. That was, that was really cool to see. I love seeing ward fly, a ward fight with Luigi, because it's like, I can't do it to save my life. So I love watching other people do it and just, like, basically breeze through it, more or less. Yeah, it's certainly super awkward. And speaking of awkward, I, I'm getting the... Uh... The cane around the neck here. We have another super awkward run coming up. Frog only, warpless, <laughs> SMB3 coming up with the Bagler 5. That should be must-see TV. Um, but in the meantime, make sure you hit that donate command. Check it Check it out. It's a great cause that they're raising money for here. Um, and thanks for having us. This was a great race. And Davesy's, uh, you know, GG on, on sticking it out despite some uh, some difficult spots there. Um, and I, I hope to do it again sometime. Yeah, GG's to you as well, Kurt. That was an amazing run. You really showcased what Luigi can do. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, awesome to watch, guys. Thank you for having me for commentating. It was just awesome to watch. Thank you again. Yeah, thank you, you bet. Thank you. All right, take care, everyone.